This video is sponsored by Raid Shadow Legends. According to the United States government, these planes you see on screen don't exist. Today we'll be looking at all of the Air Force's most secret or hushed away black projects that they don't want you to know about. Everything from supersonic fighter jets to experimental powerful new engines to state of the art drones and even some pretty wacky concepts like Nazi UFOs. I'll let you be the judge of what's real and what's not but watch this video quick before the US government takes down my channel and I disappear to some CIA black The first project was the U-2 spy plane. It's still in service and provides day and night high altitude up to 70,000 feet or 21,000 meters spy missions for those times when satellites are not fast enough. Next we have the very first stealth fighter, the F-117 Nighthawk. Famously used in the first Gulf War, this aircraft didn't exist for nearly 10 years thanks to radar deflecting designs and an impossible flight surface that made anybody who suggested it laughed out of the room. Now it's been retired with another aircraft later in this video taking its place. This tech was then used on the B-2 stealth bomber which today is most famously known for flying over football games with its top secret replacement just in a moment. Now we have the very famous SR-71 but you probably all know about it but back when it was in operation it was science fiction. Built from titanium, it could fly faster than any other aircraft, was impossible to shoot down and performed missions that the U-2 plane couldn't do. But that's not all. This project was also so successful that a drone version and a fighter jet version were proposed. The latter was called the YF-12 and it would have been capable of the same speeds and able to intercept any Soviet bombers long before they reached the United States or strike deep within Russia itself without being shot down. I'll have a full video on this concept very soon so subscribe if you haven't already. But now it's time to look at all those aircraft that have never been publicly revealed and potentially might not be real. These legendary aircraft are designed to raid from the shadows much like our sponsor today, Raid Shadow Legends. Just like these top secret projects, Raid Shadow Legends is changing the way we game on mobile, bringing the very best experience to the palm of your hands as you control your team of champions on raid bosses, dungeon runs, campaign battles and PvP arena matches. Side note, the graphics are phenomenal for an iPhone. And you can also collect hundreds of artifacts to boost your team of over 600 champions. There's so much packed in this game that you might even forget that you're even UFO hunting and in the desert in the first place. So rendering all this 3D takes a long time and in those breaks I've been playing a lot of Raid Shadow Legends. Filmed about 10 minutes of me sitting here in silence playing it because I got so distracted by the game. So far, the champions I really like are Raglan, a cool looking gold character that has the super useful and unique ability to revive any and ally and let them battle in the next turn, something that has been a clutch for me as I battle and underestimate the enemies. Next I recommend Ithos who has two mega big area attacks to help thin the enemy's group, one that hits hard and places weaken and one that hits even harder and always critically. Raid's currently running a special Deliana chase event where you can get your hands on the amazing Deliana. All you have to do is log in and play Raid for 7 days between now and July 20th and you'll get Deliana for free. That's it. Deliana is one of the strongest support champions in the entire game and can help carry your team past many of Raid's tougher challenges. There's seriously never been a better time to get started. If you're not playing Raid yet and you're new to the game, hit that link in the description and you'll get 3 free champions. Misery Chord, Tiger Soul and Romeo, 10 Magic XP Brew, 10 Force XP Brew and 10 Spirit XP Brew. All new players, listen up, once you're in game just enter the promo code MYDELIANA to get your hands on everything. Get 50 XP brews to instantly get your legendary hero Deliana to max level 50, as well as a ton of silver. While many viewers might know of the SR-71 Blackbird, few know about its rival secret project, the Convair Kingfish, a spy plane that could fly at Mach 3.2 at over 90,000 feet. Convair was also working on designs that could fly faster and higher than the Blackbird, beat anything that the Russians threw at it and could even be used to deploy then undeveloped supersonic nuclear weapons. 
Convair was passed over because unlike Lockheed's excellent proven ability with a U-2, a secret under-budget project, Convair was blown out with its budget with its bomber, the B-58, and lacked a secure research and development facility like the Lockheed Skunk Works, meaning we never got this plane designed. Next, we have the SR-72, also known as the Son of the Blackbird, and sometimes, like in the latest Top Gun Maverick film, the Dark Star. Travelling over our heads at hypersonic speeds beyond Mach 7 lies the future of spy plane technology. It can cross the hemisphere in one hour, enter any country unnoticed, and be out before their jets can even get into the sky. That is, of course, if they can detect it. This future plane doesn't need a pilot, flies twice as fast as the original SR-71 Blackbird, and further development has rumoured that it could be equipped with hypersonic missiles. And the most crazy thing is, it might even be flying right now. The evidence is that in 2017, the Lockheed Executive Vice President, Rob Weiss, commented that we've been saying hypersonics are two years away for the last 20 years, but all I can say is that the technology is mature. Meaning that they've had the engine tech for the last five to six years, and if the history of the SR-71 is anything to go by, its successor, the SR-72, is already flying today, but it'll only be declassified in 20 years time. Let me know in the comments if you believe this too. But if you thought that the SR-72 was wild, wait till you hear about the Aurora. Beyond Mach 6, flying at 135,000 feet is a spy plane with a new type of engine. It's called the Pulse Wave Detonation Engine and it leaves a very unique contrail that you might have seen. And this is the Aurora Black Triangle. All regular jet engines and most rocket engines operate on the defragoration of fuel, that is the rapid but subsonic combustion of fuel. This Pulse Detonation Engine operates on the supersonic detonation of fuel. Because the combustion takes place so rapidly, the charge of fuel in air mix does not have time to expand during this process, so it takes place under almost constant volume, far more efficiently, meaning greater speed, more range, and harder to spot. From 1991 onwards, scientists in California picked up on sonic booms that didn't match any other aircraft, including the SR-71, over the deep desert. During one of these events, radio transmissions were detected between a AWACS aircraft and two other unknown aircraft called Dark Star November and Dark Star Mike. Several of these communications mentioned an aircraft flying well over 67,000 feet. But by 1996, reports of the aircraft seem to have vanished, and only small blips have appeared in 2000 in Scotland of strange radar readings, leaving us and the public to wonder, did any of these events ever take place? Perhaps it was a prototype, or perhaps the technology finally fixed the flaws that allowed it to be detected, and today it's up there completely invisible. But hold on to your hat, because we're about to go even more crazy. Now, don't leave the video when I say these next words. Flying saucers. Yes, that's right, UFOs from those 1950s old films. They have a basis on real-world sightings. After all, how can so many people be right or wrong about the same thing? The first stories of UFO flying saucers comes from World War II. In fact, reportedly that the Nazis were working on a flying saucer that had, and I use this term facetiously, anti-gravity magic. With the ability to fly in any direction in a moment's notice, invisible to radar, and the ability to launch guided missiles during World War II, this flying saucer would have been the change that the Nazis needed to win the war. The question remains, did the Nazis ever build a UFO, and what happened to the project? The Nazis are known for many other well-documented and known prototypes of crazy futuristic aircraft, but other designs were more shrouded in mystery and even have been debunked by some analysts as being pure myth. 
The Nazi UFOs are firmly in the latter group. No definitive Nazi UFO craft has ever been seized, photographed, or been in official use. But it doesn't mean that they didn't get close. Only that during Operation Paperclip, the USA seized the work and scientists in order to hide it from the Russians. So what did they do with these men? Why? They got to work building the USA version, the TR. 3B. According to experts, the TR-3B Black Manta is an aircraft triangle in shape, uses a combination of conventional thrusters located at the tips of the aircraft that would allow it to perform dizzily number of rapid high-speed maneuvers and anti-gravity generators to lift itself silently all over the world. Thanks to said drive, it can also apparently hide itself completely from radar, allowing it to subsonically enter any airspace completely undetected. So it sounds like a fantasy, or is it? Actual patents for the technology behind the TR-3B have been filed, and they seem to show a wonderful technology at work, if you can figure out what the drawings mean. But put on your tinfoil hat because this next part is pretty wild. There are of course the inevitable allegations that the TR-3B was built by the military using extraterrestrial reverse engineered technology. Even Forbes magazine mused in 2021 that maybe, just maybe, the patents issued to the scientists behind the project could be a cover for alien technology captured over the years by the US military. I'll let you in the comments decide what's real or not. Now, you're very likely thinking, Nick, this has gone too far, and are there any other projects that are far more grounded and more real? Now, we get to today, and the projects that we know that are 100% under development. The first is the B-21 radar, the future face of the American bomber fleet. Under development, this next generation bomber will replace the B-2 and uses the similar stealth technologies. As part of the long range strike bomber program, it is to be very advanced, very long range, large, heavy payload, stealth intercontinental strategic bomber for the US Air Force, able to deliver conventional and thermonuclear weapons. So far, six B-21s are being manufactured as of February 2022, and the first flight will be sometime between now and 2023, with 200 to be built to go into service over the next 20 years. And that just leaves us with two other aircraft that are shrouded in secrecy and are currently in development. There's the Lockheed Martin RQ-170 Sentinel. Whilst it was no longer a top secret project, it was revealed to the world in 2017 in Afghanistan and was shot down by Iran in 2011. They backward engineered the technology and now we see their forces using pretty much the same technology. The last one is much more unknown. It is the US Air Force RQ-180 stealth drone that has been spotted in Asia flying training missions near China and is quite capable as the next big thing in spy technologies. What do you think? Let us know in the comments.